everyone, welcome to another science revision video. In this video we're going to do a GCSE chemistry topic, which is how you can identify the limiting reactant in a chemical reaction. Now if you haven't watched my videos on how to calculate relative formula mass, or how to calculate moles, I'd recommend you do that before watching this video. Okay, a quick reminder of what a limiting reactant actually is. The limiting reactant is a reactant in a chemical reaction that will run out first and be used up first. Because it runs out first, it's going to limit the amount of product we can make. So to represent a chemical reaction, let's say we take two slices of bread and one piece of cheese to be able to make one cheese sandwich. If we had different amounts of bread and cheese, we could work out what the limiting ingredient would be. So if I had six slices of bread and two pieces of cheese, how many sandwiches could I make and which ingredient is going to run out first? Well, I would use two pieces of bread and one piece of cheese for the first sandwich and then another two slices of bread and the second piece of cheese for the second sandwich. But now I've run out of cheese, so I can't make any more sandwiches. We could say that the cheese is our limiting ingredient or if this was a chemical reaction, that reactant would be our limiting reactant. As soon as that reactant has been used up, we can't make any more product. Now we actually have some bread left over, there are two slices left, so we would say that the bread is the ingredient that is in excess. That means we have more than we need, and again, if it's a chemical reaction, that reactant would be in excess. To work out limiting reactants, you need to know about molar ratios. It's very similar to what we've just, just done with the cheese and the bread. So in a reaction, two moles of hydrogen are mixed with two moles of oxygen. Identify the limiting reactant. You're going to need the symbol equation for the reaction and for this reaction that's two hydrogen moles, two moles of hydrogen plus one mole of oxygen make two moles of water. So we can see we've got two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen which means that these reactants are in a two to one molar ratio. That means we always use twice as much hydrogen as we use oxygen. So we need two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of oxygen that we use. If we look in the question, it tells us we have two moles of hydrogen and we have two moles of oxygen. So we have the same number of moles of each one and we need to identify the limiting reactant. If we have two moles of oxygen, because we need twice as much hydrogen, that means we would need four moles of hydrogen. But we don't actually have four moles of hydrogen. We only have two. Now that means the hydrogen is going to run out first because we need twice as much hydrogen as oxygen but we don't have that. Because hydrogen will run out first we would say that hydrogen is the limiting reactant. That also means that oxygen is the reactant that is in excess. We have more oxygen than we need. Now when you work out limiting reactants they usually won't give you the number of moles, they'll give you the masses of each element or compound. For example in a reaction 8 grams of hydrogen are mixed with 32 grams of oxygen. Identify the limiting reactant. So they haven't told us the number of moles, we need to work that out for ourselves. It's the same simple equation, hydrogen and oxygen make water. It's the same ratio, so it's still a 2 to 1 molar ratio. Now they've given us, in this question, not the number of moles of each reactant, but the number of grams, the mass of each reactant. So we know we have 8 grams of hydrogen and 32 grams of oxygen. And then we have to work out how many moles that will be to work out whether we do have twice as many moles of, hyd as, of hydrogen or whether we don't have twice as many moles of hydrogen. And we do that using the equation moles equals mass over MR. Although bear in mind you can also use the atomic mass, the AR, of the element. So to work out the number of moles of hydrogen that we have, we need to do the mass of hydrogen divided by the MR of hydrogen, the formula mass. We know from the question we have 8 grams of hydrogen and we need to work out the relative formula mass of hydrogen and we do that by adding up the atomic masses of all the atoms in the molecule. So hydrogen has an atomic mass of one and there are two of those atoms in a H2 molecule which means it has a relative formula mass of two. So we do mass over MR which will be eight grams divided by two is the MR and that means we will have four moles of hydrogen in our eight grams of hydrogen. Now it's a two to one ratio, so if we have four moles of hydrogen, we would expect to need and to use two moles of oxygen. 
If we have less than two moles of oxygen, oxygen is going to run out first. If we have more, then hydrogen will run out first. So we need to work out the number of moles of oxygen. We do the same thing again, mass over MR. This time the mass of oxygen is 32 grams. And the MR of oxygen, or O2, if O has an atomic mass of 16, then O2 will have a relative formula mass of two lots of 16, which is 32. So mass over MR will be 32 grams over 32. And that tells us that we have one mole of oxygen. Now we said if we have four moles of hydrogen, we would need two moles of oxygen. We need half as much oxygen, but we actually have less than that. We don't have two moles of oxygen. We have one mole of oxygen. So that means that the oxygen is going to run out first. Because we only have one mole of oxygen, oxygen will run out first. And that means oxygen is going to be the limiting reactant in this case. And that also tells us that hydrogen is going to be in excess. We have more hydrogen than can possibly react with the oxygen that we have. Here are two practice questions for you to have a go at, very similar to the worked example. In a reaction, 12 grams of carbon are mixed with 64 grams of oxygen. Identify the limiting reactant. Now you need the symbol equation for this reaction, which is C plus O2 makes CO2. Notice that they're in equivalent moles, so one mole of carbon and one mole of oxygen. And question two, in a reaction, 6 grams of carbon are mixed with 16 grams of oxygen. Identify the limiting reactant. Now this is a slightly different reaction here. We've got two moles of carbon plus one mole of oxygen makes two moles of carbon monoxide. Use the formula moles equals mass over MR or AR to work out the number of moles. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. So for the first one we need to work out the number of moles of carbon that we have and we do that by using mass over, it's not MR in this case, it's AR, the atomic mass, but that works exactly the same. So if we look on the periodic table, we have to find the atomic mass of carbon. The mass is 12 grams, and the atomic mass of carbon on the periodic table is 12. So our mass of 12 grams divided by our atomic mass of 12 gives us one mole of carbon. Now we need the same amount of oxygen, so let's work out whether we have the same number of moles of oxygen. We do mass over MR for oxygen this time. The mass of oxygen is 64 grams, as told in the question. And then the MR of oxygen we did on the previous slide. Well, oxygen has an atomic mass of 16. So O2 has an MR of two lots of 16, which is 32. So we do 64 over 32. That tells us we have two moles of oxygen. Now we should have one mole of carbon and one mole of oxygen, but we actually have more oxygen. So that means the carbon is going to run out first. So the carbon is the limiting reactant and the oxygen is in excess. Now for the second question, we need to work out again how many moles of carbon we have. We do mass over MR or mass over AR because this is an element and not a molecule. We have six grams, which is our mass. And our atomic mass of carbon from the periodic table is 12. So we do 6 over 12 for mass over AR. That tells us we have 0.5 moles of carbon. Now our moles of oxygen, we have mass over MR. The mass in this question is 16 grams of oxygen. And we've worked out previously that the relative formula mass of an oxygen molecule is 32. It's exactly the same as before. 16 over 32 tells us we have 0.5 moles of oxygen. Now, if we look at the ratios in our symbol equation, we need twice as many moles of carbon as oxygen. We don't have that. We have the same number of moles. That means because we don't have enough carbon, the carbon is going to run out first. So the carbon is a limiting reactant and the oxygen is the reactant in excess. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video has been useful for you. Leave me a comment to let me know what sort of topics you would like me to do in future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.